Here we have Synology's Disk Station DS920 Plus. It has a 4 core 64 bit Intel Celeron CPU built in. It also has 4GB of DDR RAM, which is upgradable to 8. It's also sporting two RJ45s on the rear with four drive bays on the front for all your storage needs. Let's take a closer look. So hello and welcome to the computer lab. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Synology Disk Station DS920 Plus. Uh, and in the interest of openness, I have purchased this with my own money. It's not been supplied to me uh, free of charge in any way. Uh, so I purchased this with my own money. It's actually a unit to replace an old aging unit I've got, which is a Synology 214 Play. Um, and I thought it was about time to replace uh, my Synology NAS drive for my home office. I have installed a couple of these already for businesses, a couple of the 720s, and I've also done some of the rack mounted ones. Uh, and I've seen how the specs been going up um, over these uh, last couple of years. So I thought it about time to replace my unit. Uh, I run Plex server and stuff like that on mine. So I might do a couple more videos uh, on my channel uh, with the software for this device. Uh, and again, in the interest of openness, I will put an affiliate link uh, in the description box below. And if you are looking at buying one of these, then please do use that link. You shouldn't pay any more money, but it just means my channel gets a small uh, kickback in the profit that goes towards the channel to help produce these videos. So like I said, I'm going to do the opening box of this. I'm going to go through the uh, connection ports, um, also where the actual N.2 drives are and stuff like that on the back of this drive. Not going to go into any software on this because otherwise it will just make the video too long, but I might do uh, a secondary or a couple more videos showing the software being installed and stuff like that uh, on this particular drive. So with all that being said, let's get the box open, see what you get, and then I'll go into um, explain the different ports on the actual device itself. So like I said, this is the uh, DS920 Plus, and let's give a look and see what you get for your money. So a couple of boxes inside, this is just the power lead I think, so just the power lead there, get rid of that, and you get another box. So you get two Ethernet cables in the box, and that's one of the interesting things on this particular NAS drive, because you do get a two RJ45s on the back of this unit, which I will show you in a minute, uh, which I believe you can aggregate, so you can get failover support and stuff like that. So you get the two leads in the actual box. You also get a small lock key, that's for the front bay units, which again, I'll show you on a close-up in a second. Uh, some screws for mounting your hard drives and you also get a separate power supply which is an external power brick which is uh, I like the internal bricks but the if you have an internal power supply that can also mean if you have a failure they can't just send you a new power supply because it'll be internal so it, they have the pluses and minuses it's good that it's external so if you do have a power supply failure supply you a new brick like that and you can just plug it in and away you go um, and you also get a quick installation guide in that particular box. So that's all you get for your money in that box. So we'll get them bits to one side. We'll keep the keys because I'll show you them in a second. And let's get the NAS out itself. Tip it the right way so we can see what we're doing. Let's put it there and we'll get rid of that box. Okay, so this is the NAS drive. So the DS920 also has a M.2 drive support on the actual underside of the unit, which I will show you in a second. But there we have it, that's the DS920. And it feels like quite a light unit, so there's not much weight in it really. Um, obviously there's no hard drives in it, it's just the bare unit at this stage. And so I can get rid of these keys, I will show you them, but that's a small little hexagon key on the front. So you can lock these drives in, because at the moment you pull the tab, and obviously they pull out like so. Uh, and if you want to lock them, you'd use this small Synology key that just fits in in a certain way, like so. And then you can lock it in so it can't come out. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is one that's got a Kensington lock on it on the back. but well, I will have a look in a second. Let's just make sure I've got that unlocked and get them to one side. Yeah, so it's got the Kensington lock support on the back, which basically means you can lock the unit with a cable. Not many people do, and in fact, I don't think I've seen ever seen anybody. But let's just have a look at the details, what you've got on the actual unit itself. So like I said, this is the DS920 Plus. You've got the uh, four bays that uh, obviously can use your lock key like I've just shown you. You've got your 
power on off button. We've got a USB 3 which you can use for Wi-Fi dongles or extra USB drives for backing up and stuff like that. Four LEDs, disc one, disc two, disc three and disc four and then also status light at the top. These drive bays just come out like so. So you just pull the lever uh, and they drop out and then you put your hard drive in and obviously slot it back in. So they're really accessible and they've always been the same sort of design. Slot in nice and easy. Uh, lightweight design. The sides you've got these Synology here which is actually shined straight through which I don't think you'll be able to see uh, but it is an air vent as well. So it's a Synology brand with the air vent on it. The rear of the unit. Two large fans for keeping the actual NAS cool. You've got your two Ethernet ports here, and this is what I was saying with the two different RDA 45s. You can aggregate these. I don't know if you can aggregate them to increase speed or bandwidth. Um, I don't know if one was just a failover uh, for failover support, and I will look into that in a bit more detail. I think looking on the website, it shows it as uh, external ports, RDA 45, one gig LAN port, um, two with link aggregation stroke failover support. So I'm hoping to do another video with some speed tests on it with a single and with uh, both cables in, which will um, prove a point with that. Uh, you've also got a, an external your power supply port. You've also got another USB, uh, which is good. Uh, again, you could plug something else into there, Wi-Fi dongle and have your USB on the front plugging in uh, a hard drive or something like that. Uh, and you've also got the eSATA cable here, which allows you to expand the storage on here. I think the model is a DX517, if I remember rightly, which allows you to add um, more support and more storage with a, another uh, drive bay, as it would be. Um, so that's a good way to increase your storage if you like this unit and keep hold of it for a fair while. Uh, and that's it on the back. So two large fans, you've got your Kensington port lock, you've got USB 3 port, two RJ45s, your eSATA, and then also your power supply in there. So that's the unit itself. We'll have a look on the underside and I'll show you the 2.m.2 drives on the underside of the unit. So there we go. We've got the two ports here and you can see there's a small instruction here. M.2 NVMe SSD installation. And all you do is pull that cover over and you can see there, there's a small mount just in the bottom if you can just make it out. Uh, and you just drop the drive in like it would do if you was building a PC or something like that. You've got two of these on this DS920 Plus. So there's another one there as well. Again, just under the cover plate. So two slots for your M.2 NVMe SSDs. And then if I flip it around again, I'll show you the RAM support as well. So the DS920 Plus comes with four gig of RAM as standard and can be upgraded to eight. And if I take the bays out, I'll show you the actual slot for where you upgrade the RAM. So I'm just slotting all these out like so. You can see there at the back of the unit. We'll get some, so these are obviously your hard drive slots. We're gonna just get the light to catch properly. And you can also see the Synology right on the side there where, the, uh, where I was talking about before where it's vented so you can get a nice breathability through there. The most important bit, which is what I want to show you, is the actual RAM slot, which you can just about make out here. So if you want to increase your RAM, you just pull them drives out, buy an extra four gig of RAM, and then insert it into the DS920 here, and that's it upgraded. So next thing up is I'm going to uh, show the hard drives going in and I'm using Seagate Ironwolf drives. I think the exact model is Seagate ST8000VN004-2M2101 and I'm using two 8 terabyte drives. So I've got a 16 terabyte in total. However, because I'm going to be installing it um, using uh, Synology's SHR, uh, which is stands for Synology's Hybrid RAID, um, I will only have eight terabytes with this configuration because basically the data will be going onto one of the drives and the second drive will be the backup of the first drive. Now, if I decide to add another drive, which I will do at some point into the third and fourth bays, then my drive size will increase if I'm still using the SHR. Now I can use a different type of RAID. For example, I, mean, I could use in the uh, basic RAID, I could be using just a bunch of disks, I could be using RAID 0, 1, 2, 5, 6. You have the options on the Synology drive, it's just that I'm gonna be using the SHR because it's just simpler to use and it just configures itself and looks after itself. The 920 Plus is hot swappable, so you can uh, just pop a drive in while it's still running and it will increase your uh, size of your RAID array uh, if you select the right thing in the settings. 
So just to go over the caddies, you can see the plastic caddy here I'm showing. And this is the second um, hard drive going in. Uh, the drive just plops into the plastic caddy. And it has these small toolless clips that go on the side. And you see the rubber grommets there on the camera. Uh, the little plastic clip just slots into the where the screws would normally go. And it just clicks into place in the plastic uh, hard drive caddy. And then it just simply slots into your uh, Synology NAS drive, or in this case, the DS920 Plus drive, like so. Okay, so there we have it. There's the hardware overview of the Synology NAS drive DS920 Plus. I want to do some more follow-up videos regarding this NAS, and in particular, the Plex transcoding. So if that is something you are interested in and want to follow, then please do hit the bell icon and subscribe to my channel to be alerted to any new videos I make and in particular make about this NAS. Also, if this video was helpful, hit the thumbs up icon and also hit me up with any comments below. They are always appreciated. And thanks again for visiting the Computer Lab.